filing taxes, your marital status, and Medicare. Everything matters, and it's not that simple to just give free advice to internet strangers. But let me try to live up to my name, I'm Sylvia Gordon, the Medicare family, and make this simple. A lot of you that are watching this video already know that what you pay for your Medicare premium is based on your modified gross income from two years prior. Depending on what year you're watching this, it's gonna be around $88,000, $90,000. And if you exceeded that amount as an individual, then you won't pay what everybody else is paying for their Medicare Part B. You're gonna pay more. And depending on how much more you earned two years ago, Instead of paying 150, you might pay 250, 320, 420, 500 dollars. So people said, "Huh, my husband's the one who made all the money. I work part time. I only made 35,000 dollars. How about if I do married filing separately? So then my income falls below that threshold, and my Medicare Part B will just cost 150 bucks, and I won't get hit with that surcharge for the high earner. He's the high earner." And that strategy that that client proposed to me, that does work. She would pay less for her Medicare Part B if she filed separately. But married filing separately is like a terrible, terrible solution because your tax bracket is higher and you lose some deductions. So generally that's like a two big losses for one tiny win. So you're gonna pay a lot more in taxes, maybe hundreds of dollars more in taxes to save a tiny bit on Medicare. As much as a oversimplified concept would be, well, I'll just file separately. Seems like a solution. It's generally not. And like I said, this is something you need to take up with your tax preparer, and hopefully it's not yourself. Hopefully you have a paid tax preparer if your income's high. When you're looking at jumping tax brackets and getting these penalties for high earners with Medicare, because that's the Medicare Part B and your Medicare Part D, and it might be for many years. So we're talking about large sums of money here. Talk to an accountant that can really delve in and explain to you, while it probably isn't a good idea to file your taxes married filing separately, just to save a little bit and not be subjected to the Medicare surcharge, which is known as IRMA. Thanks for watching my video. Wasn't that fun? It's kind of painful. I wouldn't want to watch this again myself, but I hope I helped some of you out there. And if my family here at the Medicare family can help you, we do a video every Thursday. Hit the subscribe button so you never miss one.